Hi friend, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting topic that many of my friends and people on LinkedIn have asked me and it's about data science degrees in the UK and if they're really worth the money. We're going to structure today's video in four main points. The first one is what do you learn in a data science degree? Number two is what are the prices of those degrees for national UK students and for international students that came from abroad, like myself, I came from Morocco. I know many people came from India, Nigeria, Nepal, Algeria, so many different countries. So these will be all classified as international students. Number three, we're going to talk about a master's degree in data science, VS, a bootcamp in data science. We're going to see the strengths and weaknesses of each one of them, and which ones bring you more opportunities, which one you learn more from, and we're going to discuss all this in detail. And number four, I'm going to share with you my thoughts as an international student who went through a data science degree. I did a computer science degree, but data science was one of my main modules, and it ended up being something that I did afterwards. So I will share with you my honest experience as an international student, and maybe it could benefit some of you as well. Let's dive into it. Number one, what do you learn in a data science degree? So data science is a very technical field. You learn a lot of statistics, mathematics, there's programming, there's data analysis, there's data visualization, data mining, machine learning, a lot of different modules that you will learn in data science and most of them are very important. In practice, of course, you won't go deep into statistics or deep into doing some machine learning, even though you will but things are already made for you. You can just use some libraries, you can use some tools, but it's very important that you have a deep understanding of each of these modules, especially when you study, you have time, you can put on the effort and do things right. Don't rush things. Nowadays, especially with AI, we want to have everything quick, and that's not a problem in the real world because you have to apply a few things. There is no harm in using technology, but when you're learning, don't cheat yourself. You want to understand things so that when you use the new tools, the new AI, you can leverage the speed of execution and you can also leverage those new technologies to be more efficient. But don't start directly by using AI and forgetting that you need first to understand what's going on so that then when you use AI, it just enhances your productivity and not replaces all of your work. Number two is the pricing. Data science degrees can be split into two categories. You have undergraduates and you have postgraduates. Postgraduates are usually a master's degree or even a PhD. So undergraduates are usually cheaper than postgraduates. And on average, national UK students pay six to nine, ten thousand pounds a year for a data science degree. Obviously, it will depend on what city, what university, how many years they're going to do the degree, three or four years, but it's usually between six and nine thousand pounds a year. When for a, an international student, it will be between thirteen thousand and thirty thousand pounds a year, which is way more significant uh, because in the UK, international students pay more than national students, which have their own benefits. So that's something to consider. And for postgraduate degrees, nationals will pay on average between six and a half thousand to fifteen thousand pounds a year when an international student will pay from fifteen thousand to thirty five thousand per year for a data science degree and here it's really different from one university to another when i applied myself i found that there was between fifteen to twenty five thousand pounds a year for a data science degree or any technical degree. Cloud computing, AI, all of these things today is between 15 to 25,000 for international students. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It does help me immensely in my journey on YouTube and it helps me give you this free content that I hope can benefit you as well. Let's keep going. Number three, master's degree vs bootcamp. So a master's degree is something more academical. You're going to go to university and learn module by module by module and you pay a lot of money for it. But in the end, you have a degree that is recognized and that you can get a job easier than a bootcamp. A bootcamp is way cheaper. It's more accessible for people. There are usually no prerequisites. You do things yourself on your own pace. It's usually short terms, not four or five years, like going through a traditional master's degree. And here, my choice is really split. For example, if you come from a different country, 
you don't have much of a choice. For me, coming from Morocco to the UK, I can't just come and do a boot camp and apply for jobs. I am not allowed. I need to come on a visa, and a visa I can only get it if I am a student, especially at the time. So for me, I don't have a choice. I will have to go through uni, gain experience, learn things, and apply from there. That's the only path that I had. But a boot camp is not a bad idea. For example, if you're already a professional and you've been working in some technical field, like the cloud or something like that, and you want to transition into data science, you don't necessarily need to go over again and go to a master's degree in university, even though you could, but a bootcamp could be enough. Why? Because you only need the skills. You're already in the professional realm, and maybe your employer, just by doing a bootcamp, can switch you into becoming a data scientist, and no need for you to spend years in your university and go through the academical process. So as you see, it really depends on your situation. A bootcamp is great to learn. It could be an addition to your learning in general. You're a software developer, and tomorrow you want to become a data scientist, why not do a bootcamp and bridge the gap that you have between software and data? And then you can learn by yourself and maybe apply for jobs and just justify with projects and things that you've done that a bootcamp was enough. But if you're just finishing college, you're just starting out, and you want to work in the professional world as a data scientist, a degree will always win. Usually 95% of data scientists, they're only accepted with a degree. It's rarely that you find someone without a data science degree, like a master's, working in a data science position. Share with us in the comment section the experience that you had learning data science. Did you go through a bootcamp? And did you manage to get a job if you went through a bootcamp? Or did you get a data science degree? And how did you get your first job in there? This is very interesting for people watching these videos so that they can have multiple experiences, not just mine. And you can share it all in the comment section. And I'll be happy to interact with you in the comments. Number four is my thoughts as an international student. As an international student, you come to the UK, you come to study, you do a degree, whether it's data science or anything else. Today we're talking about data science. The prices are very high. You take on a big loan in your country and you put yourself in a lot of stress. Putting yourself in a stress is a good thing because you end up challenging yourself, doing more than you could. And you know that maybe in your country, you didn't have as many opportunities as you're having in the UK. So there are so many upsides. But what I would suggest is that you don't have to go for the expensive degrees. When I was applying, there were some universities that were offering degrees for £27,000 a year. And that's so much money, especially if you come from a country that is not earning as much as in the UK. Like Morocco, we have dirhams, which is 13 times lower in currency than the UK. So 27,000 a year, that's what an engineer earns in Morocco and an engineer per year, obviously, with a lot of experience, you know? So just putting that in just one year and you don't know how many you're going to do is very expensive. So what I did, I went for a good computer science degree in Cardiff for 15,000 pounds, just one year, full time, and I gave him my all. I did all the projects I could. I networked so much on LinkedIn, and I can share with you a video where you can find how you can get your data science job using LinkedIn. And I did all those sorts of things. 15,000 pounds for me was a big investment. I put it all at once. And then with the help of projects, networking, talking to people, I ended up landing my first data science job. So for me, it was a plan. It was a strategy. I didn't have to go to the most prestigious universities. I didn't have to go to the most expensive universities. I just made sure that I come to the UK, study well, network well, even though I'm paying a little bit less than other universities. Because at the end of the day, people really don't care much about your degree and the university you study in. Some do, but mostly no. They want to know you. They want to know what you can provide for them. And that's all that you need to showcase via your projects, your GitHub, and networking on LinkedIn, which is very important. I'll make sure to link a few videos in the description below where you can go through how to use LinkedIn to land your first data science job. And if you're already working as an intern or graduate data scientist, I also have a video that will show you and help you avoid some mistakes that I've made when I just started out. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It does help immensely. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one.